and they're in Bluestone Manor for eight days, eight days. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Post-pandemic. I mean, I've never personally, even with people that I'm close to, have anyone in my house for eight days. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. So it was a little bit like, ah! <laughs> you have so many exciting things coming up, especially we have Ultimate Girls Trip coming up, which I cannot wait. I am so excited. I know you can't tell me everything about it, but what can you tease about it? Well, I think that it's what's really, in first of all, one thing that I'm super excited about for the audience is that, you know, when we filmed up there with Bravo, it was usually in the winter mm -hmm. and it's sort of more of a micro filming in rooms and just like you get the fish room. So everyone thinks that's all I have in the house is the fish room or just the living room or just that you're going to get a big expansive view. Even Andy said when he watched some of the footage, he's like, I had no idea because you haven't been able to see the grounds and you know, it's on 18 acres mm -hmm. and it's got a big long drive driveway and it's just I'm really excited because they had drones for the audience to see a bigger part of it than just these little micro things so I think people kind of have a new love affair with Bluestone Manor and you know I love Bluestone Manor mm -hmm. and the audience loves Bluestone Manor if I've learned anything about if I've learned a lot of things about being on pause but anything is that Bluestone Manor was really like a major character. Oh yeah, oh one hundred percent. I mean, they not, I mean, not only I wasn't on, but Bluestone Manor wasn't on. So people have this really beautiful love affair, and I think also too the girls that are on, Vicky, Tamara, you know, um, Jill, uh, Taylor, Eva, Phaedra. I mean, Brandy, you can't, these are strong players. These are old school strong players. These girls know what they're doing mm -hmm. and they haven't been on for a minute and they're in Bluestone Manor for eight days, eight days. <laughs> a long time. Post pandemic. <laughs> I mean, I've never personally, even with people that I'm close to have anyone in my house for eight days. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. So it was a little bit like, ah! <laughs> It but it was great in theory, but then when it came to fruition, they were all there and some were happier to be there than others, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't, we got to remember, I don't really, I didn't really know these girls that well. I knew Jill very well and Tamara and Brandy, who's like a little sister to me, you know, we fight, we love, we fight again, we said, but I, you know, the other girls were like, what? Cause you know, it's Bruce, it's the Berkshires, it's New England, mm -hmm. it's not Orange County, it's, and it was a big responsibility for me to sort of keep them busy. And I had, I was saying just before uh, in the last interview, I like, I really took away some really nice friendships that I, I just didn't know one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Who surprised yeah. you the most? Well, what surprised me is how close I feel to Phaedra and Eva. Nice. We have a lot of common ground. We both are sort of laughers and, and sort of, interesting characters, strong women, and we're both all very spiritual. So we kind of had this bond. I mean, they were the two when I got really overwhelmed as the hostess and thought it was all going terribly. I would knock on their door. Can I come in and talk to you for a second? And they really let, oh, you'll be fine, you know? So it is, um, what's nice about these things and what's nice about being on the housewives with people don't see, it really is a unique experience that, you know, a lot of people don't have. It's almost like being in college. Yeah. Like you form a special bond that no one ever understands. Even when you fight terribly, even when you, you know, there's something that there's, it, there's some, it's our secret that we have. We're a family in a weird way. And everybody came out of it. We're all communicating all the time. But you know, there were some really hairy moments because I don't know if we, any, any of us, including me as the host, expected the intensity of being up there for eight days. Yeah, I'm sure. But you're going to love it. We're not oh. going to let you down. That's for sure. <laughs> it's very old school in a weird way. I love that. That's what I uh, that's what I miss. And I mean, it's uh, like you said, it's such a strong group of women. And I'm sure, like you said, eight days um, of strong personalities. I'm sure a lot of people are going to butt heads every now and then. Yeah. And you know what? These girls, you know, they've been in it. So this is not, you know, I think there's nothing better for me. A great housewife that is uh, is one that's not aware of the camera. Yeah. Not worried about glam, just as out there. Well, you, you come into like I. It was like old school. Like they'd come in in the morning and be like, can we come in your bedroom while you're laying in bed? I'm like, why not? You know what I mean? All right, you're here. You know, So I think that's going to be sort of comforting to the audience. Um, I'm also really excited about my radio show yes. like on Sirius Act of, Act of, uh, Radio Andy. I always get fumbled when I say that. You know, it's kind of a call-in show, which I love. I love that. Um, it's very old school Delilah, like from NPR. And it's got a great response. And I'm really comfortable on the radio. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I would imagine that you would be like, it, it, you're so easy to talk to that I'm sure so many people oh, feel you. that way. No, it's it's true. I feel, I feel like that they probably feel like they're calling in and talking to a friend. And listen, you know, it's amazing. You know, my mother said to me at the time when I was so upset when I was put on pod, my mother said to me, oh, you're going to look back then and thank, thank them for giving you this time away. And so many great things have happened, like the Nutrisystem. I mean, Nutrisystem's become like my family. Like we all talk excited for each other. Like I have another a, a, another great achievement in that and learn, you know, and just being able to have the opportunity to represent such a great brand and meet people that maybe have questions about their health and wellness, because I love that. I mean, I'm not always perfect, as everyone knows. They've seen me with my martinis and stuff. But you know, I try to like present a healthy, balanced lifestyle and to partner with Nutrisystem as an ambassador and the great people involved in this company it's really been so nice because another way to reach people Definitely. another way to say you can do it just get started i'll help you and i've done a lot of instagram lives where i've gotten so many great so much great feedback about that partnership then i did the radio show then i did the bourbon then i wrote my book you know i really grew so much during this um past two years that i'm, I'm very i'm thankful for it 